Okay, guys, I have a very interesting question here that is acids and bases together with percentage purity incorporated in any. So it says 10 grams, 10 g, of an impure sample of sodium carbonate is added to 100 cubic centimeters of a 0.2 mole per decimeter cube solution of hydrochloric acid, then the acid is in excess very important so i'm just going ahead and highlighting the very important um, details in the question um remember it's very important that you go ahead and read the statement don't just jump into the question read the statement once twice three times make sure you have all the important things highlighted then you can go on to read the the the, the question or to attempt to answer the, the the problem so it says the equation for this reaction is that and then the first question says balance the equation above okay normally they give you a balanced equation to kind of give you a head start but in this case you have to first balance so i'm just gonna write that out and remember i'm i'm making this video for the grade 11s and grade 12s and i assume that at this point you know quite comfortably how to balance chemical equations so if i check i have two and a and i notice i have one here so immediately i needed two of them and then that unbalances the cl because i had one here so immediately i put it two as well there and then i go ahead and check is there anything that is still unbalanced i have two and a i have two and a this side i have one carbon i have one carbon this side i have three oxygens i have one plus two which is three oxygens I have 2H, I have 2H, I have 2Cl, I have 2Cl. So everything is balanced. Now, the most important thing to do is to write all your given data. We have the mass impure of sodium carbonate. Very important, guys. 10 grams. So this means that if I have a scale here and I actually put a beaker there that contains sodium um, carbonate i will have impurities there i'll just make those red um, chunks there to indicate impurities in the sample so those are impurities anything else in there that is not sodium carbonate so the other thing in blue is called pure sodium carbonate so this whole thing measures 10 grams on my scale okay make sure you understand that gonna come back to it um, during the question as well we are also given okay 100 cubic centimeters and then 0 0.2 mole per decimeter cubed all right, the first thing we need to do here is to check is if everything given is in SI units. 10 grams is okay. That's why we substitute in. 100 centimeter cubed, we have to convert that to decimeter cubed. Most importantly, so that it matches with the concentration. So how do we convert cubic centimeter to decimeter? We simply divide by a thousand. That's just something you need to remember because they love um, giving you units in centimeter cubed so that gives us this is still under the acid 0 0.1 decimeter cubed so the, the the second question here says calculate the number of moles of the hydrochloric acid so i'm just going to write the beaker here for the acid here's our acid that is all the acid we have which is what we're going to calculate the number of moles of here so number of moles of hcl that we have is equal to which formula can we use when we have concentration and volume we can use the one that says zv which comes from obviously the one that says c is equals to n over v so if we rearrange that we get that number of moles is concentration times volume and then what is our concentration 0 0.2 at this point when you substitute you don't need to write the units as long as you remember them for your final answer 
then if I multiply that out I get 0 0.02 mole so this is the acid that I have all the acid that I have inside this beaker okay then that's for three marks how are they going to mark that simply going to be the formula the substitution the answer all right let's go on now so the question says the excess remember the acid was in excess so it says the excess acid neutralizes 20 cubic centimeters of a 0.1 mole per decimeter solution of magnesium hydroxide so we know that the sodium carbonate doesn't actually finish up the hydrochloric acid in other words this thing was in excess as they said this thing was the limiting reagent reagent at this point um, you should be able to know what the limiting reagent is but i do have a video if you need to consult that all right so we know that the excess acid the one that was left from this reaction is then used to neutralize 20 cubic centimeter of that concentration so again you're going to just um i'll just erase that to make up some space so i'm just going to copy out the reaction again equation as hcl or just ignore the phases you know the aqueous and liquids or just write my balanced reaction see in this case they gave you a balanced one two plus h two o all right so we have the given data which is always very important for you to write it under your um, specific um, compound so we have 20 centimeter cubed for magnesium hydroxide i'm just going to convert that immediately to decimeter cubed by dividing by a thousand so i get 0 0.02 decimeter cubed and then the concentration is already in the units that i need to use which is mol per decimeter cubed okay so i know we use the excess acid to neutralize this much so i'm just going to again find the number of moles of mgoh2 so this is going to be concentration times volume because that's what i'm given and then i substitute concentration is 0 0.1 the volume is 0 0.02 so i get 0 0.002 so guys this is the amount of magnesium hydroxide that was neutralized by the excess acid if we go back to the acid here on top i have a reaction of part one it's this one part two is this one so part one used up some amount of this acid i don't know how much yet and then part two used up the remaining one the one that is in excess from part one and then i i do have to calculate that by using stoichiometric ratios so i have from the part two reaction that hcl react with mgoh2 and then i check now the balancing coefficients so I see for HCl is 2, for Mg is 1 if they have nothing there. So that's 2 is to 1. I know that I actually neutralize 0, 0.002. Then I put X or just N for the amount of acid that was used. So I cross multiply. I see that X multiplies 1 just gives me x equal to 2 multiplies 0, 0.002 and then now I have 0, 0.004 and this is mole 
so i forgot to write mole there as well this is the amount of acid that was in excess which is used in part two of the um, question which is this reaction okay now i do have 0, 0,004 that i used in part two so again what did i have initially i had 0, 2. So now I want to know how much acid did I actually use in part 1. Then I'm going to say, okay, what I had minus what was in excess or what I used in part 2, which is equal to 0, um, that's 0, 0,02. Sorry for that minus 0, 0,004 this gives me 0, 0,00 no 0, 0,16 mole so i'm just gonna also fix that there 0, 0,02 mole then now i know okay for part one I actually used 0, 0,016 so let's go and Put it there 0, 0,016 mole. All right, now remember the question. I actually didn't read it out. The question says calculate the percentage purity of sodium carbonate solution. Okay, so I need to find the mass of sodium carbonate. That was actually reacted so i know again i go back to the ratio thing i know that the acid in part one this was part two react with sodium carbonate and then what is the balancing coefficients from the balanced reaction it two is to one again two is two one I know that I actually used 0, 0,016 for the acid, so I list that under the acid and I put X for that. I need to know how much of the um, sodium carbonate did I actually use. I cross multiply. I see that 2 multiplies X and then 1 multiplies 0, 0,016. If we divide both sides by 2, we get. 0, 0,008 mole so what is that which we just calculated this is the amount of moles used up for Na2CO3 so it's all the moles that we had since this guy was the limiting reagent right so now we're gonna need to find the mass of that so the mass of remember guys this now is pure because we we got it using stoichiometry we got it using the acid that we actually reacted with it so the mass of the pure sample is the number of moles times the molar mass from the formula that says number of moles is mass over molar mass so you guys already know that by now now i'm just gonna need to substitute i have 0, 0,008 for the moles and then what is the molar mass of sodium carbonate it's just 106 so you already know how to find that so if you multiply that together we get about 0, 0,848 grams okay now because we have the mass of sodium carbonate we can go back to the formula for percentage purity which says percentage purity is equal to the ratio between the pure substance over the impure substance or the sample sometimes they say the sample there so it's the sample that we collected which had impurities 
so in other words let's go back to our first sketch then in other words if we remove these red chunks here what is the actual pure mass which is just what we found over the total mass of this thing with all the impurities okay so our percentage purity in this case is equal to our pure mass is 0, 0,848 grams over our impure sample which is 10 multiply that by 100 percent and then we get um, 8,48 percent so this is our percentage purity of this sample there which is our final answer okay what remains guys is for you to like the video to share it with your friend and most importantly to subscribe that will help me um, to keep on making videos and also comment on what else you need me to explain or um, anything else you liked about the video um, yes so guys thank you for the support cheers